Hi there. Changes on the way through the next few days. The weather turns more humid, it turns more unstable, and as a result, beefy shower clouds, even some thunderstorms will develop in places, but these will be highly hit and miss. Not everyone will catch a shower or thunderstorm. Not everyone will be impacted, but where these impacts occur could be quite serious. Now, for much of Friday afternoon, many places will stay dry and sunny, especially eastern parts of Scotland, central and eastern England. But the clouds have been building further west and expect some showers in places, especially for parts of Wales, into Cumbria, western Scotland, isolated showers, even the odd rumble of thunder here. But for Northern Ireland, that's where the greatest activity will be, with some showers and thunderstorms developing over the Republic of Ireland, drifting north, and also some homegrown showers, depending exactly on when the higher cloud drifts in. That could limit the temperatures and, as a result, limit shower development. But certainly the potential, especially for western parts of Northern Ireland, for some really serious thunderstorms, hail and lightning. That's Friday afternoon, but, well, where we see the cloud and the showers in the west, it will be certainly cooler than recent days. However, in central and eastern parts, 28, possibly 29 Celsius once again. And it's going to feel more humid, I think, in many places, particularly for further west, with the clouds and the showers turning up from the Atlantic. Now, the showers are likely to develop more widely across western parts of the UK through the night. Some longer spells of rain possible, especially for Northern Ireland. And again, the risk of some thunderstorms in places, but not everyone obviously will see these. They'll be fairly limited in location. In the east, clear spells and a bit of a fresher night compared with the west. 10 to 12 Celsius on the thermometer first thing Saturday, but plenty of sunshine for eastern parts of Scotland. I think a bit more cloud there for the Northern Isles, but certainly through eastern areas of the UK, it's a sunny start. But this high and medium level cloud will drift in through the morning. That'll turn the sunshine hazy and some showers are likely to develop in places Southeast England, for example, but more especially, again, western parts of the UK, some rumbles of thunder out there, and perhaps for Northern Ireland, especially some uh, serious thundery activity with hail and lightning a possibility. Also for parts of Devon and Cornwall, parts of Wales as well, we could see some uh, fairly beefy thunderstorms developing. Again, cooler in the west, but that's not to say it won't be humid because it is likely to be fairly sticky through the day. And in the east, temperatures limited by the cloud advancing. But again, it's going to be a more humid feel, I think, compared with recent days. We've got the areas of cloud drifting about into Saturday night, and we've got those showers and thunderstorms in the west continuing for a time. Now, over France, later Saturday and into Sunday, there's likely to be some thunderstorms developing, and these could drift north through Sunday across southeastern or even central parts of the UK with other showers and thunderstorms developing elsewhere. So certainly a lot to watch out for this weekend in terms of shower and thunderstorm activity, but uh, by all means, it's going to be hit and miss. Not everyone will catch a shower or thunderstorm, and uh, where they do occur, they could be quite uh, impactful. Stay tuned to the Met Office reports for the latest, and of course you can follow the radar on your app for all the further details as they happen. Bye-bye.